Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS AH64D video, we'll discuss the use of the fire control radar, FCR, zoom and C scope functions. The zoom function will allow you to expand a small area of the FCR display to distinguish targets in proximity and more easily engage them. The C scope function allows you to display FCR symbols over the HMD and TADS. These functions are crew station independent, meaning use in one station will not affect the FCR display of the other station. To use Zoom, the station that wishes to use it must have the FCR selected as the site. For more detailed accounting of the FCR, I've listed links to previous videos on this topic. Let's get started. Okay, so first, let's take a look at the Zoom function. And as you can see, we're uh, here in the CPGC. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and do a single scan burst and see what's ahead of us on the FCR. So it looks like we've got uh, multiple tracked and wheeled vehicles. And of course, we got the, uh, the big solid diamond, which indicates our next to shoot or NTS. Now, there's two ways we can do the zoom function. First, uh, here on the right hand grip, we have the zoom button. So let's take a look at that in controls. So uh, CPG, right hand grip, second from top, right hand grip, display zoom button. And I have it attached to my joystick. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and press the zoom button. And it does that, it zooms in a six to one over the next to shoot or the NTS. If I hit it again, it'll come back out. The second way, is we have the zoom button here on the display. I'm gonna press that. And now I have this white box with the X. And using the display cursor, I can move it where I want. Say over these uh, three track vehicles here, press and release the uh, cursor enter button. And now it's zoomed in six to one at that area. And at this point I can go ahead and designate one. So you place the cursor over this track vehicle here, press and release, and now it's my next to shoot. Or of course I could put it up next to shoot here. Continue to cycle through. Now if I do another scan burst, it's going to zoom back out. And once the scan burst is complete, it'll go back into that zoom level. And exit out of zoom. So zoom is a really handy function, particularly when you have a bunch of vehicles all close to each other and allows you to discriminate them for uh, more precise targeting. Next, let's take a look at C scope. And this can be used independently between the pilot seat and the CPG seat where we are now. So to use it, we're gonna go to the FCR page. And here at the top of T1, we have C scope. Let's go ahead and press that. We can see that our site is the HMD, and we look up and ahead, we can now see those symbols that we're familiar with through the FCR, and those include the uh, unit type, like tracked or wheeled, the next to shoot, the alternate next to shoot, as well as X for the uh, targets that we've engaged so far. Now, if we go to the TADS, we can also see the symbols through the TADS as well. I should take off the HMD and we can see the symbols up on the TADS as well. And as you might imagine, this is a great tool for coordinating uh, attacks. Also, if you're a multiplayer and you don't have an FCR uh, on your bird, you could receive data link uh, targets from your wingman and then still see those targets using the C-scope. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this video on Zoom and C-scope and I'll see you next time. Thanks.